peace be with you. I hope that uh, as this uh, new school year approaches, uh, I hope that you're excited uh, and there are certainly lots of emotions that go along with it. Uh, it's possible that you're bummed out because uh, summer is coming to a close. It's possible that you're super excited to see your class and to, uh, to get to know your students. Uh, it could be that you're depressed. Lots of, uh, lots of uh, competing emotions. And a lot of times that's the way it works is that we kind of have these emotions piled on top of one another. Uh, rarely do we just experience a single emotion. Anyhow, um, this is a breath meditation for the beginning of the school year. Uh, and I hope that it will be helpful to you and encouraging. And I would in encourage you to not just uh, go through this breath meditation one time, although that could be helpful, but I'd like for you to uh, go through it uh, many times uh, between now and the beginning of the school year. Uh, so that it kind of gets your mind and your heart and your spirit into the place that you'd like it to be as school starts up. So with that in mind, the first thing I'd like us to do is just kind of be aware of our, our physical presence. Uh, and, and it may be, as I go through these ideas, it may be that they seem fairly inconsequential, and probably they are, <laughs> uh, but what they, the function they serve is to bring us into this present moment. A lot of times our brain is going here and here and here, and there are lots of things. I know that your to-do list is at least as long as my to-do list is, and I appreciate that, and I appreciate that you're taking time to, to go through this uh, video, go through this meditation right now. But these next things that I'm going to ask you to kind of focus on help to bring us into the present moment and to, uh, to uh, remove us from the distractions uh, that, uh, that uh, will be there waiting for us. <laughs> uh, they're always there, aren't they? Anyhow, so here's what I'd like for you to do. I'd like for you to get yourself uh, comfortable, whether it's seated, whether it's laying down on the floor, seated on a couch or laying on a couch, laying on a bed, whatever works for you whatever uh, uh, gets you nice and comfortable and relaxed. And I'd like for you just right now, I'd like for you just to be aware of how your body connects to the chair uh, or the uh, couch or the floor, wh wherever you are. How is your body connected to uh, that surface? Uh, feel your arms, maybe they're resting in your lap. How are your feet connected to the, to the floor? To the ground so just kind of be aware of how you're how you're uh, uh, touching whatever it is that you're touching the next thing I'd like to draw your attention to is how is your clothing feeling where do you feel your I've got long sleeves on this morning where do you feel uh, your clothing what is what is that sensation maybe it's scratchy maybe it's uh, light and airy so just kind of be aware of that. Then the last thing I want to uh, bring your awareness to is your breathing. I don't want you to change your breathing. I just want you to, to notice it and be aware of the breath coming in and the breath going out. And it may be if you're breathing through your mouth, you can feel a little bit of a breeze, a little bit of wind on the inhale. You can feel that on your tongue perhaps or the back of your throat. If you're breathing through your nose, feel that air going in, going out. Don't feel like you have to slow it down or speed it up. Just be aware of it. The next thing I'd like to do is to move us into what I refer to as default breathing. Uh, the default breathing has four parts to it. The first part is uh, that you're gonna breathe only through your nose. So if you touch your lips together, and breathe through your nostrils. Nose breathing is super, uh, super important, super effective, super helpful. Uh, there's lots of videos, lots of uh, literature that you can read, uh, read up on that, but uh, super helpful. So I'd like for you to, uh, uh, to nose breathe right now. If you're a little congested, uh, give it a shot. Typically I find that I can, can make it happen, uh, but if it does, just doesn't happen, then you can certainly mouth breathe. Uh, one of the things nose, nose breathing does, though, it helps to slow our heart rate, helps to focus our mind, and that certainly is important uh, for us. 
both of those things. So we're breathing slowly through our nose. The next step, the second step in our default breathing is to number the, the breaths. The inhale is gonna be one, exhale two, inhale one, exhale two. So you're just kind of mentally cycling through those numbers as you inhale and exhale. The next step is to close your eyes. Step three for our default breathing is closing your eyes. If you're not comfortable with that, you can stare at a fixed object or a fixed spot on the wall or off in the horizon. That's a good, that's a good close uh, second to uh, closing your eyes. And of course, if you want your eyes to wander around, <laughs> no problem. Uh, but if you're comfortable closing your eyes, go ahead and close your eyes. And then our fourth step to default breathing is to let your breathing slow. And typically that will result in the breath also becoming deeper. So just to review, you're going to breathe through your nose. Number the inhale, count one. Exhale, two. Inhale, one. These numbers are mentally going through your mind as you're, uh, as you're inhaling and exhaling. Your eyes are closed. And you're slowing your breath. I'd like to take your numbers and change those numbers to concepts. And instead of a number one on the inhale, I'd like for you to breathe in the concept of peace. So as you inhale, I want you just to think peace, whatever that means to you, whatever it feels like. Breathe in peace. On the exhale, there may be something that's been driving you crazy. Uh, and on the exhale, I'd like for you, or someone driving you crazy. Um, on the exhale, I'd like for you to, to just think of the concept of let it go. I'm going to just let go of that. Now this is not a magical process. That doesn't mean that you let it go and now you're, you're completely healed, although it could happen. Uh, but what it does mean is that for right now, in this moment, we're just gonna let go of that thing that, that we're uh, most concerned with, or that we, perhaps it's some baggage that we've carried around for the last week or the last year or the last who knows how long that you'd just like to let go of. So on the inhale, think peace. On the exhale, let that peace kind of allow you to let go of whatever it is that you feel like you need to let go of. Let's go ahead and breathe through a few cycles of that. Inhale, peace. Exhale, let it go. I'd like for you to do some uh, uh, some imagination work and I would like for you to uh, on the inhale continue to think of peace on the exhale I'd like for you to think of the concept of success uh, and specifically I'd like for you to think of the concept of success in your classroom if you are uh, if you're admin then uh, what does success look like in the, uh, the things that you're uh, in charge of uh, success in your office success wherever it is that you uh, would like to be successful I'd like for you to inhale the concept of peace and on the exhale I want you to to think of this concept of being successful let's go through about three or four of those patterning patterning through peace success And I'd like to take that one step further. And I'd like to encourage you to imagine yourself being successful 
in a specific way. Um, and maybe there's something last year that didn't quite go as smoothly as you'd like it to. Uh, and so uh, maybe, maybe right now you'd like to imagine yourself being successful in that particular thing. Maybe, uh, maybe you just imagine your classroom as the students file in. Uh, things are ready, or mostly ready. <laughs> um, uh, whatever success looks like, try to try to just pick one one thing that you would like to uh, to see successful in this first week, maybe the first day of school, but in this first week of school, choose one thing that you would like to to have success at, and let that be your your uh, mental focus right now as you breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly. and slowly return to your default breathing slowly through your nose remember your inhale one your exhale two eyes are closed breathing nice and slowly nice and deeply I'd like to encourage you to uh, to use this video as your uh, as your meditation a daily meditation would be a great thing uh, or I'd also like to encourage you to use this uh, video uh, the way that uh, uh, this progressed. I'd like for you to maybe use that progression and, and create your own, uh, your own meditation uh, of whatever it is that you would like to uh, have impacted in your life. If we're not thinking about it, if we're not focused on it, it ain't gonna happen. And this is a great way to draw your focus very intentionally, very purposefully towards something that's important to you. Last thing I'd like for you to think about is why on earth did you choose teaching? <laughs> ah, for some people it may just be a paycheck. I hope it's not for you just a paycheck because there are much easier ways <laughs> to put food on the table than, uh, than the route we have chosen as teachers. So why is it that you teach? My hope for you is that you have an amazing first day of school, an amazing first week of school, uh, a great semester, a great year. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and encourage you to stretch your arms up high. Nice stretch, oh yeah. And stretch your legs out. And go ahead and draw some circles with your toes. Rotate those ankles. If your eyes are not open yet, go ahead and open your eyes. And I want to encourage you to have an amazing uh, school year, an amazing first day, amazing first week. Uh, I appreciate what you do. Uh, and uh, and hope that uh, hope that this helps in uh, in some small way, maybe in some significant way. I'd like to finish by saying peace be with you, and if you would respond by saying and also with you, peace be with you.